today uh, my top my ui that i will be creating is this one movie character ui animation okay so uh, i found this on dribble and it's a beautiful ui where you can see the animations so let me just uh, take take you to the downloaded version of it and uh, let me just close it so i'm going to this downloaded version and we will have this screen first of all where we have this back button and the search button and then we have this despicable, despicable me and characters and this beautiful uh, card i would say with the minion on it and we can swipe left or right so once we click on this uh, there will be a, a transition uh, so and there will be a bottom sheet coming from down and it will be overlapping on the content and then uh, as you can see here uh, we can uh, actually swipe so we will be using page controller here so let's start with this so this is my basic uh, app here uh, which has a black screen as the output and uh, uh, you can see i have taken some fonts so my pubspec.yml you can check it let me just take you here so in my pubspec.yml i have 2.3 version of dart and i have used after layout also uh, i will tell you why it is needed um, it's for the betterment of the rendering of the layouts one after another and this is my fonts these all fonts i have mentioned here with some weight 500 600 700 so whenever i give font weight at 700 this type of asset will be used and you can see uh, what does this asset look like and similarly you can see semi bold how does it look like so this is how uh, we will be doing the project and uh, also i have used some assets so basically i only uh, figured out two images for agnes crew and one for Kevin minions okay so these two only i am doing right now but definitely this can be uh, increased the way i have created the project you just need to go to your lib go to your model and enter your multiple characters that we have so let me give you a brief of this as well my character is just nothing but a collection of some uh, fields like it has a name uh, image path uh, description and the colors now what these colors do actually as you can see here there is a darker color here and a lighter color here so this card has a gradient and when we uh, go uh, uh, in the details screen we have darker color here and lighter color here so we need two colors for each uh, character and uh, that's why i have given list of colors now these colors will be uh, different for uh, kevin and different for agnes that's why uh, these are the colors shade 2200 for orange and deep orange shade 400 similarly for agnes it will be uh, pink shade 200 and red ascent shade 400 okay and this is just a description i copied from net uh, this is the uh, path of the image and yes so we have list of characters then i have also created a style guide already so basically this display one uh, i would like to tell you where is this display one used so as you can see this is my display one which is a little bit bolder and increased in size and uh, it also has some um, letter spacing so that it doesn't uh, uh, crumble uh, and look uh, looks very clumsy so that's why then i have display two which has font size 32 and uh, letter spacing of 1.1 and it is normal so there is no boldness here that's why this is display two and this is my nothing but you know uh, uh, title uh, i would say heading and then subheading so these are the yes and one more thing i have taken uh, opacity so that um uh, this is not pure white no it takes something from the background that's why i made it little bit uh, opaque and uh, yes so both these are little bit opaque so let's uh, start so this is my um i would say i will let me change the title despicable me characters and let's create a character listing screen okay and go to our pages where i have already created a folder and actually i've done this so that's how the folder is there let's create a file character listing okay let's import material and create a stateful package now because uh, because we will be having page controller here and we need to dispose the page controller uh, plus there will be a lot of animations there so that's why we need to have a stateful uh, widget okay 
so state full widget and the name will be what we have given earlier character string screen fine so now uh, let's have a script code inside that let's have app bar so this app bar will you know have I would say a, a leading icon which is this icon start back I was back yes so this is the icon and for my actions I have you as you can see here I have a search icon and a back icon so that's what I am creating here right now okay so my actions will be it has some padding also from the right hand side that's why I will be adding some padding widget let us say a 16 and then child of it will be again an icon with search come on okay uh, so let's try to run it now okay this is the error okay uh, we forgot to implement uh, sorry import so we have this thing but you know we need some uh, customizations to this now you can do it in two ways uh, either um, you can give elevation zero here and give it a background color so this can work definitely uh, but uh, as you can see here uh, uh, it's not working because uh, the icons are also white um, and uh, the background is also white so uh, what we can do is um, we uh, we can do one thing we can make the colors as black yep okay but but there is a better way to do this and a minimal way to do is uh, just move from here go to your main dot dot go to your theme data and there is a field called app bar theme and just uh, create your app bar theme here uh, give it elevation zero and there are multiple fields other than this so color also we can give colors dot white okay what it should do basically it will do the same thing that it has done here and then again we will require to change the background color but there is again a different way to do that you just need to give a primary color to it and that primary color will be white and this will make our icons black in color okay let me just revert it and see the difference so as you could see here there is no time displayed here and no status bar things are displayed but as in when we uh, do primary color as colors dot white you can see here we can see all the status bar things plus we have icon now you might be wondering what is this whitish color and off white color not white color so for that also we have this canvas color that you can make it as white and let's see the difference so everything is white now we are good to go then so yes now let's start with the designing of this page okay so now we will have uh, so let me just tell you how we will be designing this basically uh, we'll be creating a column the first element of this column will be this one and the second element the rest of the element uh, will be my uh, page view okay so let me take a column in the body so we have this column here it has two two children so first one is my uh, I would see uh, how you can how you can there are multiple ways you can have uh, I want this to be as a one widget okay so I will be doing a different stuff here I will be taking a rich text I would have taken a two text views also two text widgets also but uh, I, I, I don't like that way and uh, it's not good you have one text and that is despicable me characters why you want to split it into two so there is a method to do that there is a way to do that in the rich text what you can do is you have to provide text okay and which which actually takes text span so we will do same text span now uh, the best part is text span actually takes um uh, let me just tell you so text span takes children now this this text span can have multiple children and I will have multiple children like and what are the type of these children let us see the type of this children is also text span okay so we can go here we can have text also so instead of children we can now have now have text 
so my first text will be despicable me okay right and uh, i will give the styles later on my second text will be my a new line character and my third text will be simply character yes so let's see what is the output of this first of all okay there is no output oh that's weird let's see maybe maybe yes because uh, there is output but maybe the font colors are not good so let me just click here somewhere yes so we have this rich text it is there but uh, the font style is bad so let me give the style so my app theme which actually i have created here app theme class inside this i all i have these text styles so my despicable despicable me is in display one and this is display two right so let me run it oh, again it's not showing oh app is stopped so definitely there might be having some mistakes or errors let's figure it out okay it's running again so by the time i can i should not in this column i will have two children yes let's see so yep this it, this is how it looks now there is uh, there has to be some space here so i'm wrapping this rich text inside padding widget and uh, i will have only left padding and a top padding so left can be 32 and top can be 8 yes it looks good so now uh, we need to work on so so just understand this this is just a one widget now as you can see here this is complete one widget let me show you this is a complete one widget and uh, yes it looks fine there is no there is no harm in doing this okay so now i want a expanded widget after my padding widget so that it takes hold the screen and my child is nothing but a right now i will i am putting a container or i would say i should use a widget character widget right so this character widget we will be creating now let's go to uh, create a new folder that i do generally uh, widgets okay let's create a new file okay so simple again doing the same stuff stateless widget okay so let's import it here as well and let's now work so first of all we will create a normal rectangle this complete and then we will try to do the cutting of this rectangle so we have this rectangle and uh, we can yes we just have to give height and width to it okay and there will be a decoration so decoration will be border radius no this is not needed you only need a gradient which is a linear gradient here okay and uh, yes so what are the colors colors are nothing but characters I will, I'm taking this first one right now we will when we implement the page view we will be dealing with the index okay so character dot colors okay so there is some issue then it should fire that's it let's try to do it it will run it's not compiling but it will run so my begin will be see as you can see here this is a darker color okay so i am beginning from this left so my lighter color will be my begin color so i will go to my character and this is my begin color and this this one is my end color okay my beginning is from as you can see here i begin from bot uh, top right top right and and at bottom left bottom left okay 
and now let's try to give something uh, but before that let us wrap this inside the stack because okay one sec can you do it automatically no so i'm wrapping this inside a stack because you know there is a background on top of that this is the thing and this is also the thing so we have this this card as a background that's why um, i am taking a stack okay wrap this here go to the end do this yes so it's formatted only the thing is we have to give some height okay so height in my sense let us check take the height of the screen first of all final screen height yes so but what i think is it is near about 0.55 times of the screen height as you can see here it's near about 0.6 times or 60 percent of the screen or 55 percent of the screen so what i will do is 0 0.55 into my screen height so that it's responsive and my width is 0.9 because it is taking almost complete just uh, removing this space so let's see what if it works perfect so let us run it okay so this is how it looks um the card looks good but there is some much in padding is not there so okay width is this but as you know if i don't give also it will take complete so um, width is not mandated here but then i have to do some padding stuff now what should be the padding see i want it to be symmetry horizontal and i want um, 90 percent of the screen to be filled with this card so i have screen height into 0.5 okay it won't work so remove this so this is my padding 0.5 times of the screen width sorry which actually i don't have or i did a mistake man i have to take a screen width also yes and uh, let's try to do that again if that works i don't know it will not work as per i am concerned oh it worked so uh, we don't need to give padding now fine that's that's awesome so what we need to do is we need to make it in the center and one more thing this has come little bit more into center if if there was uh, no character widget let me just remove it see this 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 text came on the left hand side so we forgot to write our cross axis as a start and this is what if now i run it it is here now i uncomment it okay so it has come here okay fine now i also want it to align it should be at the bottom right and in the center so just wrap it wrap this container inside align oh, sorry uh, align and alignment can be bottom center let's see yes it has come now what we need to do is we need to wrap this content uh, container or bottom center so what we can do is we can have some padding here which actually or or just try to remove this uh, what we'll do is we'll wrap this inside safe area which most of you have suggested me to do that way so now it has come automatically on top so yes now um, uh, let's wrap this container inside a clip path okay and this needs a clipper so i have already created a clipper uh, i will explain you what i need to do is i i need to cut this and create a rectangle like uh, create a shape like this okay as as it is shown here just like this so i already have that i'm copying it now this is my character card background clipper just copy it here i will explain you how that is created and uh, let's see the output so this is the shape that i have created now okay uh, so let's uh, read this 
how, what it says how it looks like so as you if you have watched my previous videos uh, you might be understanding this what is the curve distance so basically it's just uh, my control point at, at the edges okay so this is my end this is you can take take it as the, my destination point when i'm here and this is my control point so this 40 is the is my distance from you, know, you can say uh, from uh, width and height so let's run this so clipped path dot move to uh, initially i am here I, I am moving to this height okay this height actually uh, actually and after that i am creating a straight line creating a straight line okay then clipped path then when i am here i am creating a curve okay then again a straight line okay and then again a curve okay then going back to the top uh, straight line then again a beautiful curve here which takes actually a lot of time to draw but you can you can hit and try and you can learn it no 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 hard uh, learning here required i have already taught it many times so from here i am creating a curve and then i am creating a line till here and then again a curve and then i am just returning the clipped path so this is how this shape is uh, created okay now let's uh, insert an image here and name uh, and the title so now uh, after this one more uh, we need to add an image dot asset fine what is the path of this asset nothing but we will take the characters and we will take the image path i don't know why it's not auto completing and height will be again in screen height 8.55 and yes i cross checked it was 0.6 in this case so let's try to run it okay so this has come pretty nice at the center and no need to let's see what what is the look of it okay it's it's not in center i would say so what we can do is we can wrap this inside a line and alignment can be okay um, there are two ways to do it you can do 0 comma 0 so it moved a little bit as you can see and also you can do it see now you can see it's in center okay uh, and there is a second way to do it it's simply center so the results are same if i hot reload also the results are same in this case uh, okay so it's very much at the down so we can either move it up by wrapping this inside a padding or i am i will be trying one more thing here let's let's first check that so it has moved up but i don't um, let me just figure it out if it can be handled without pattern also so alignment zero and if i do minus 0 0.1 let's see what happens okay two okay it is moving up three fine so what i can do is this this will work fine i guess it looks pretty awesome the same cut here and a lot of spaces so we can do in this way also so this is the second way that i am doing it now uh, we just need to add a column uh, on in the stack a new thing so we will have two children here and uh, let's see how we can add name and the uh, i would say uh, this text click to read more fine okay so let's add first is the text and uh, second is also the text characters name and second one is uh, click or i would say click to read more instead of that tap to read more and let's add a style also so style is uh, okay app theme dot heading right here the theme dot subheading right uh, let's see where it is okay it's nowhere yes that will be the case 
because it's you know again it's not aligned so maybe that is the case uh, let me just figure it out so the thing is the thing was very funny uh, you can see here i am highlighting this column my column is complete this so what this column is taking complete height of this expanded widget because uh, everything is inside you know character widget is inside as you can see expanded so this complete screen it is taking so uh, we will go to character listing screen again sorry we will go to the uh, character listing screen again and then uh, we'll go to tab to read more uh, we'll go to this and what we can do is main access alignment and this can be end so now the text will come at the bottom and then since uh, Kevin and tap to read, is, read more should be starting from the uh, same, same vertical axis so we can have this thing so they will start from the same vertical axis let me just remove it okay now we need to give some padding also or oh, we can do um, okay let's wrap it inside padding itself okay fine so my padding can be you know uh, symmetric horizontal and uh, yes so let's see here this is 0.5 I want little bit 0.5 more here so uh, and I will show you in Android if I if I let me just take it that way see this it is 16 here let me run the same app in my okay I don't have any Android emulator let me figure it out I want to show you on Android this is my Android emulator, Android simulator. Now you can see here, uh, first of all, there is no safe area, so uh, it is completely stuck at the bottom. So what we need to do, we need to go here uh, in the, where I have to go. So we can go in my character listing, where I have this safe area. I can wrap this column inside the padding widget and can give the bottom bit that can be 16 so now it comes above now let's see how it looks in iPhone also so uh, it has come little bit up okay that can be considered there is not much to explain here and then I will go to this character widget again so I should be uh, giving 32 let's see it looks like here uh, and what does it look like in Android? See, okay, fine. So, what we can do is we can also give only left, right, and bottom as maybe 16. See, okay, fine. It looks good. Now we can be 48 uh, we can take it as 60 okay fine so it looks good now uh, let's see in iPhone that's it. so here it is okay fine so it looks good now it's fine uh, okay great it is working so, so what I will do now I will click on this go to the details screen so uh, and in the details screen we will display the specific data plus this will be a hero transition okay so let's do that so in order to not slow down my machine i'm just closing this android emulator uh, as of now right now so okay so we will wrap this stack uh, not the stack itself um, okay yes the stack so when i click on this okay what i have to do is navigator dot push context and we will create a route so this time i'm not creating material page route i will be creating a page route builder okay and this actually fine. so this again takes a builder and transition builder plus transition duration so my transition duration is very simple i'm taking i'm changing it uh, to 350 and my builder takes a function which takes in a context and two animations so simply a context i'm not going to use uh, any 
uh, I would say uh, what I would say <laughs> I am not going to use any of these second animation and first animation that's why I am taking in underscore and double underscore okay what is this maybe okay fine what is that I expected this maybe uh, what is error okay it ended here that's how it should be okay yep so let's add our characters detail screen i would say and now let's create this page as well go to our pages create characters detail screen similar stuff as you know uh, we will be uh, using a bottom sheet as you can see here this is this bottom sheet animating so uh, I, I want it to be a stateful widget okay character screen. Right. now what should it have basically if, let me show you this is a screen it has no app bar no safe area because i cannot use safe area here safe area uh, will not have any uh, it will have some specific color so but i want this to take whole screen uh, that's why i am not going to take safe area i am just starting with the column directly the children and uh, a cross button so before that uh, let me yes so okay icon icon stop close that is okay color will be color stop white that is also fine let's see if it works without that okay and we will go to this character detail fine and import this let's see let's run it okay when i click on this okay app is closing uh, no problem why is this so okay maybe it has to be inside a scaffold at least yes 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 it has to be inside a scaffold okay when i click on this there's a white color and there is a close button here now what i need to do is again i need to align it so inside column you can align the content okay so my alignment will be uh, top center uh, oh no sorry i i first of all let us do it uh, wrap it inside uh, first of all take us a size box which actually covers my app bar height and now it is here uh, the size can be 40 i guess yes it looks good and color will be white once i will add the background so to add that uh, let us do that first so this should have some padding from left hand side also so adding a padding here <laughs> adding a padding only and it should be from top 8 and left 16 or 32 yes it is fine so let's add a background to this so before taking a column uh, we should have a stack and uh, it should have children so my first child will be this column yes and behind this i will have a decorated box okay reason for taking decorated box is nothing but simple i can i would have taken container also but again we are not having any child inside container we don't need any padding we just need to be having a background so i am taking just simply decorated box which will uh, which works similar to the decoration of a container so box decoration and again uh, this is similar uh, whatever uh, let me just tell you this also that from character widget i should pass a character because character detail scheme works on a character that's why so it will be character of zero as of now so to uh, make it compatible i have to declare a character here right and uh, yes let me import and 
let us or let us do let us make id do it to generate the you know uh, constant constructor for us then for similar very similar to this we will take this complete linear gradient copy it gradient copy it instead of character zero we will just take character and from that to from widget okay so let's try to run it fine there are errors definitely will be errors because uh, we have not navigated from this page so okay uh, there is no color uh, so there is a fit for this stack fit so that it expands and let's see i have i am running it again and now the color is there because this actually um, expands its widgets you can say okay now this is coming in the center so what you can do uh, anyway uh, you can simply cross axis alignment okay cross axis alignment got to start and yes it has come on the left hand side color can be white with opacity 0.8 or 9 okay so let's run it yes now it looks good um, on clicking on this icon oh, rather than taking padding we can take icon button which automatically has a on pressed yes so for the version I have to do icon here and it should be an icon widget why I am taking reason behind this is icon button has a little bit padding already inside it and need not to give size here okay icon size is the value okay so reason of taking this is you know very simple icon button has some padding automatically I will show you uh, so on press of this navigator.pop that's it fine so let me show you one thing uh, let's take the back of this copy and uh, move this or okay let me show you the clickable area first of all let's see the clickable area of this what is the clickable area it is little bit um, more of icon okay this is my icon this is my padding okay so this is my icon button it is greater than the close sign now if i take this definitely i will have some error my color will be also going inside this and size also 40 similar okay so now if i run it let's see the clickable area will show you okay oh my god so i am wrong here because um icon and icon button having a little bit padding so anyways it's good to learn this thing okay but we can use icon button because we need not to wrap this inside in quill so let's use icon button itself okay yes i fa i failed to convince you guys but uh, we have learned one more thing here that icon and icon button have some padding so we can use icon button just to have navigator on pop automatically on pressed we should have this okay so after this padding so we should have our image dot asset and uh, path will be the dot character dot image path and height should be again i am taking a screen height so let's take it inside the variable screen height equals to actually dot or dot size dot okay um reason reason of taking this is i am creating for both ios and android so whatever the screen height is it will be less it will be a fraction of that so it will be that part of uh, the screen so here in this case i have figured it out as 
screen height into 0.45 was the best fit okay uh, let's run it so here is my image i need to take it at the right hand side as you can see here it's on the right side so what we can do is we can align again so align is a very handy widget and it's used to very well especially in column and stack so we can have top right and it has gone right side so this is very easy stuff then we are inside a column we can format this and after that we need to add a uh, i would say a title and the description so let's have a text widget dot character dot name style will be app theme dot heading and duplicate it use the description and add the sub heading you if you are very experienced with flutter on running of this i should get a render flow exception okay i got it reason for this is this is not scrollable and we have reached to the bottom of the page and there is still a description left inside it so uh, what we can do is uh, we can wrap this complete column inside a single child scroll view yes and um, scroll direction default it's vertical so the error is gone we have a scrollable page now just we need to add a padding so let's add the so the simple padding can be we need to have something from left hand side so that something will be you can take symmetric horizontal so 32 and little bit vertical also so that there is space between name and the description let's run it so there is a gap here uh, similar padding we can have this also where if if i if i copy this complete you know uh, what will happen is let's see this there is good padding here but there is much more padding here also but we don't need to do it in that way so i can give only or i have figured out one more thing so there is a from left top right bottom so my left is 32 the reason to use this is it is easier or it it is uh, you can say we don't need to write horizontal vertical top left bottom right those things so this is the left one from top i can have zero from right i can have only eight and bottom i can have 16. yep so this is this looks good and i have some beautiful part here okay now um, there is you know it is touching the screen so we can make it 24 fine so now let's run it let's make it 32 it's not reflecting anymore so i'm reloading it yes now it's reflecting so let me do it 90 let's see if it is reflecting it's not reflecting but i'm doing hot restart let's see okay so it reflected uh anyways so this can be uh, 32 fine okay or uh, you know if, if if i can use uh safe area let's check so for top it will be false else it will be true okay see this is the thing if i use it it shows white color and i i i i don't want that so that's why i'm not using safe area here okay now we need to add hero we need to add transitions because this is screen the animations are good but animations are not there even so it's it's not good so let's add hero image uh, hero th hero transitions so i'm in my character listing screen i'm going to character widget so first of all i will add to the background so this is my box decoration this is my container let's wrap this inside hero widget let's give it a tag and the tag should be like this background and I right now I want to use this zero so that it's dynamic background dot name of 
my first character that is Kevin. Okay. 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 The similar thing we can do with the details screen. Okay. So go to your decorated box here and grab this inside hero. Tag will be nothing but similar. So well, let's copy it so that there are no mistakes done. Okay. So and then you have to use this thing here because we have passed in a character so we just drop this okay let's run it from i'm um, just for tree starting when i click on this see the background yes so when we do all the animations means all the hero transitions i i mean to say right now i'm doing with only background so there is a flickering effect but when i do with the image as well as with the name it won't happen uh, this flickering effect so just be here for some one or two minutes more so I'm inside my character widget which is inside listing so I will wrap this hero okay and that tag will be my I would say name dash again similar stuff so characters yes this will work so copy this format the file go to your details screen where is your name your name is here I wrap this text inside hero tag it okay uh, and again do it this way so it will be a widget root there are two commas no problem okay let's do it with, uh, do it with image also so this is my image dot asset hero tag will be let's just copy just name it image and similar stuff with the image here as well okay, i've already copied let's change it to image and this will show error to widget dot so let's format the file and let's try to run it okay so now when i click it just watch it very slowly it means watchfully okay it's not good no it's not the way i want it no no there is some mistake definitely definitely there is some mistake uh, Maybe let me figure it out. So after a long time digging, uh, I, I found the issue. Uh, basically my text widgets, whenever we apply hero transition on them, they, I think, throw an error. So I removed hero widget from my text and also, let me close it. Also from my uh, listing page, I removed a hero widget from here. So now if I run it, you can see the difference. When I click on this, there is a beautiful transition going on here but how can you add a text you know uh, how can you add so this is a question again so for that i have found a uh, found a, a solution you can wrap this inside a container wrap this inside a material and let's see the difference first of all see it looks like this so give a color to it colors dot transparent and now it looks the similar way now now to this material you can add a hero widget okay so before doing that uh, let me uh, make the similar structure in my details page as well for this text now i know this is a workaround and it's a pretty bad workaround as well but this is the way right now to do it and it also tells us that uh, material widgets can easily be hero transitioned i would say so Let's see now. Transparent. Yes. So now it looks uh, similar, it's the same structure as of, as of this Kevin. Uh, so now let's add a hero on this. Hero. Tag. Okay. So it's same. Uh, name dash dollar characters zero dot name 
and same tag will be copied in the details wrapping this material okay only the thing is as we have done in other cases it will be reject dot and similarly here also reject dot i think i forgot to change it that's why widget dot character dot name and the same thing applies to this case so now uh, let's run it and see if there are errors or not okay so and click on this okay again again there is an error so i don't know i don't know why but as you can see name is getting transitioned beautifully yes so maybe we can okay sorry guys i don't know what was happening why it is happening but i have found a solution as of this video you can go with it but i know there is a better means i, I have done it already i have complete code uh, with all the animations it's working but right now it's not working with that concept so what i have found is see uh, you need to do this but you this this is tough if you don't do it i will i will show you what will happen for the text and stuff you need to do follow this container then material and then hero now when i'm saying name character zero dot name the same thing has to be written here right now okay so this is the this is the thing that is happening basically widget dot character dot name was not working right now but it will work in future uh, so don't don't worry about that I, i'm going to change anywhere in the second video but as of now you can go with it and uh, so now let me uh, tell you what is the output of this and you will be very pleased uh, for waiting such a long time i'm clicking on this see this beautiful okay when i close it i came back see this thing so this is what i wanted to do okay now let me show you why i have to do this material and then container okay let me show you what what will happen because of this okay i'm running it again see very carefully there are two lines drawn below this see this whenever i go inside there are two lines below this uh, otherwise it's not there so definitely there are no errors shown but uh, these lines uh, can be removed uh, by using uh, uh, wrapping your text inside uh, wrapping your text with a container and then that container with your material okay this is only done when uh, we are using hero okay otherwise it's it works perfectly fine as you can see i have reverted and you can see the output okay so guys this is the end of the video for my part one now in the second video don't miss out because i am going to add this bottom sheet don't miss out plus i am going to do this swipe as well okay and i will be scaling this image when you uh, you just watch this video first when there is a page change the image comes from a smaller size to bigger size so that is scaling also i am going to do in my next video so guys don't forget to watch that video as well so thank you guys and uh, yes subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you have liked the video thank you bye